There is great dating advice, bad dating advice, but also hilarious dating advice online. And so today I thought it would be really fun for you and I to take a look at some of the funniest dating advice out there on TikTok. Check it out. Hey there, my name is Matt Boggs, and I'm the founder of the Love and Relationships Division here at the Brave Thinking Institute, where our mission is empowering people to create and live lives they love, and that includes your love life. So if you enjoy this video, click the subscribe button because every week we bring you videos to empower you in your love life. And today we're gonna to be doing some reaction videos to TikTok. So my team found this dating advice, they thought it was hilarious, and so uh, let's see here what's in store for us. Check this out. Hey mom, I have a question. How do you make a move? Make a move? Yeah, like when you like someone. Oh, like get someone to pato you. Yeah, like that. Mom dating. Well, you just have to wait until they completely give up on dating, okay? And then you <laughs> come in like a ghost, appear out of nowhere. <laughs> then you ask them out for a date. Okay. You will pokai a few times, but don't take no for an answer. Just keep asking and badgering them until they say yes. Wow, are you sure that even works? Well, badger him. Just badger him. Work for your father, so. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Just come in like a ghost and then just badger them. Wait until they've completely given up on dating. Wait, wait until they are at the lowest of the low, their most vulnerable moment, and then attack them and badger them until. <laughs> until they say yes. She's like, did that work? The ending is beautiful. Worked for your dad. So uh, no, I, uh, I don't think that is probably the best strategy to uh, attract the person that you want. Um, but I love it. I love, I love the authenticity, right? Work, work, for, uh, work for her. So, all right. Instead, uh, way better to bring someone into your world that uh, is probably at the top of their game versus uh, depressed and, and on their way out. I think that'd be uh, probably end up be a better relationship. So let's take out number two. Here we go. Second piece of dating advice. Let's check it out together here. Every dude that I meet who's in a new relationship, I give them the same advice. I say, hey, protect your sweatshirts. <laughs> That is 100% effective advice. That's true. Okay, for those of y'all who don't understand what I just said, women don't buy sweatshirts. <laughs> they steal them. They steal them. I probably have 10 sweatshirts that are out there in the relationship verse somewhere, probably given away, hopefully, to Salvation Army right about now, but uh, this man's speaking truth right here from whoever they're dating, and they keep the sweatshirts. Like, they collect them. You know how gang members have teardrops? And not, that's women with the sweatshirts. They keep the sweatshirts from the previous relationship. She didn't go to that many colleges, dog. They keep the sweatshirts. They steal them. All right, so case in point, do not wear another man's sweatshirt in that relationship with a new man that you're with, because he will catch on, right? He will catch on. But I will have to say, you wearing your man's sweatshirt, that's okay, steal his sweatshirt, steal his button-up shirt, steal that long shirt from his favorite team, because let me tell you, there's nothing sexier than a woman who is in your clothing and nothing else. Maybe not full clothing, right? But just the top, right? Just the top and nothing else. So uh, I like it, I like it, speaking truth here. All right, so that's number two. Let's check out number three. Ladies, just a gentle reminder. Don't ever let your boyfriend stop you from finding the love of your life. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't ever let your boyfriend stop you from finding the love of your life. So clearly this boyfriend is not the love of your life. So what's interesting about this is there's a question that comes up a lot, which is, is it okay to just be with Mr. Right now if he's not Mr. Right? Like, is it okay just to date for yourself if you know that he's not gonna be the one. And here's my advice to that is it depends. And here's what it depends on. 
if you are in that state where you need to get the love juices going, like you need to just get the momentum of your relationship going because you've been out of the game for so long, it's okay to date people that you know aren't gonna be the long-term partner for you. Get them, get the momentum going, get your conversation flow back and have some fun and just get that relationship fun going. Sometimes just, like I've had uh, clients where just dating someone where they were able to receive the adoration and sexual attraction from a guy ignited them into this whole nother level of being able to find their man. So if you're in a state where you need some momentum to get going and want some fun, then absolutely. But there's that moment where it transitions where you know if you're spending so much time and energy with someone who's not the one that is blocking you from really making yourself available for the one. And that's where the edge is. You don't wanna be blocked from finding someone who's gonna be your person. So if the person you're hanging out with is not gonna be the long-term person for you, and yet they're taking up all your time, all your conversation, all that relationship energy, if nothing's left over to date anyone new, then, uh, then you might wanna let them go, okay? <laughs> but this is funny. All right, let's take out the next one here. Ladies, you want to be in a happy relationship? There's only four things you need to do. One, find a man who'll make you laugh. Two, find a man who's cultured and will explore this world with you. Sure. Three, find a guy who's intellectual and ambitious and will support your ambitions. Definitely. Four, of course, find a guy who's honest, trustworthy, and respectful. Yeah, love but it. most importantly, more yeah. important than there any of that, ladies, is that you make sure that these four guys don't know each other. Ah, snap, mic drop, mic drop. <laughs> so clearly there is a belief that you can't have what you want all in one man, perpetuated by date after date after date of bad, bad dates, not a fulfilling connection, all of that. This is very, very funny. When you've been single for a long time, you've been on a lot of dates that haven't measured up, it's easy to believe that uh, you really can't have what you want. And so you have to lower your standards and find less in one person, or of course, not settle for one person and date a lot of different people all at the same time. Here's what it comes down to. What would you love? Would you love to date a lot of different people or would you love to have one person that you're in a monogamous relationship with? What would you love? Here's what I believe. Whatever it is that you would love, that desire is the evidence of the possibility of that result. In other words, spirit wouldn't place a desire in your heart for something that wasn't possible. But so often we give up on what's possible and settle for what's easy or what's convenient and we never actually achieve the dream of the thing that we want. So uh, while this is funny, it's also a little bit sad because it represents the, the belief that this, that guy out there doesn't exist. So, all right, let's go on to number five here. Last one, funny dating advice. Let's check it out. Okay, we all know I'm your TikTok big sister and today I'm going to teach big you a very sister. important lesson. I, I have just watched a grown ass man at least 40, 50 years old on national TV telling someone condoms are too small for him. <laughs> he was asked, have you tried the extra large? He says, yes, they're too small. Now I'm here to teach you something girls because if there's grown ass men on TV saying this, I know for a fact there's an... Just a quick question. What's the difference between a grown ass man and a grown man. She keeps saying a grown ass man on television is saying that what is, what is, can you explain this to me please? Put in the comments below, what is a grown ass man? Am I a grown ass man or am I, or am I a man? Like what, what is that difference? I've, I've always wanted to know. Someone asked me that once and I was like, I, I don't know. I don't know what the grown ass man is, but all right. So this is great. The guy's telling you condoms are too small for him. Even the extra large, she's gonna teach us what it really means. Check this out. Kyle somewhere Let's trying to convince his 16, 17 year old girlfriend that condom doesn't fit him. Don't fall for it, walk out. Here is a standard, a king size and a super king. <laughs> okay, so this is just a normal standard condom. I've oh. opened it on here. There's no way your penis <laughs> is bigger than my foot. It hasn't even True. snapped. This is just a normal wow. size condom on my foot. It hasn't That's snapped, it hasn't split. Condom Moving on to the king penis. size. No problem. And I've got the big super king here. So that's a super king, that's king size and a normal, all fitting on my foot. 
Okay, so uh, touche, you proved it. Like, yeah, ain't no guy gonna say a condom is too small for him and, uh, and they don't fit when clearly you're wrapping them around your leg. Uh, that, is, uh, that is impressive, that is impressive. Uh, the one thing that I will say about this, when it comes to this type of topic, I'm a big advocate for you knowing your standards, knowing your boundaries for when you want to have sex. And if you're ever with a guy who pressures you or tries to get you to do something that you're uncomfortable with or not ready for, run from that man because he that is coming from a selfish position, often a narcissistic position. He's just in it for what's in it for him. It is not coming from a sense of love, wanting you to feel comfortable, wanting you to feel ready. It's a great indicator for what he's even engaged in the relationship for. So I have to give it to my team. These were pretty darn good. These were funny. And so my question for you is, what's some of the funniest dating advice you've ever been given? Go ahead and post that in the comment section below. I appreciate you. Hope you found value in this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.